All right, guys, it is Ben and Joe, a.k.a. Casper and Stopping, bringing the latest slice of zombie action here from Codename Pizza. And what a day for zombies we've had today, haven't we, Joe? Um, what a day. We've had the picture this morning, which we thought maybe a nuke town or something. But now, this new trailer that they brought out, what a, what a teaser that is. Like we've said before, we are on vacation at the moment, and to be fair, I'll prove it to you right now, we are still on this beach as we speak. Luckily, we found some guy who's a very nice chap. He's not. He's forgotten to put a password on his Wi-Fi. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, pretty so, much. So, anyway, let's have a look at this trailer. Okay, so... so uh, obviously, these, this trailer starts... We're going to be playing it to you in uh, half speed at the moment. Just so probably. we can talk through just it. So, yeah, just so, so pretty much we can talk through it. So, we're starting off, and there is some flames there. It looks like there has been a nuke or some kind of catastrophe. There's a car on the floor, and as you see, there's two headlights that are coming towards you. That looks very similar to the picture this morning with the two headlights. The one, well, we we thought this morning it could be a pair of eyes, but obviously this this now means it's it's we've seen that it's the headlights of the bus. Yeah, I think that's a car that's actually flipped turn over there, but uh, we'll have a quick look on the next bit. Now we, we we come to this section at 29 seconds where there's this sign. It looks to be like kind of like a radiation sign. Or uh, just a safety Basically sign. Basically, a safety in sign in general. Yeah, there's actually two of them: one right in front of you, and one over the other side, just a bit, about halfway through, um, just further in the back there. So we'll just carry on this. And there's a bus now going around the corner, as we see the main bus in this video. And I think this this is the special bit on the video. If you pause it on this correct bit right here, you can see a figure that's driving the bus. And to me, it looks yeah, I, I, well, I, it, it does look Rick Toffin. Yeah, it looks yeah, like Rick Toffin. And he's got the same hat on. And I'll put a picture up of the picture that I'm referring to now of the Rick Toffin's hat. Yeah, it's the same hat, or it could just be a bus driver. Yeah, it's, well, it could be. It looks like. I mean, he's got Rick Toffin's hat on, and he's got a thin face, which Rick Toffin did have. But as you say, it could just be a bus driver. Yeah, but anyway, let's leave it at that. It could be. Could be. I hope it is, but we don't know. It'd be a nice little twist if it was. So we'll just carry on this, and there's a bus now going around the corner, as we see, the main bus in this video, with the two sets of two headlights, which could also be an indication to the picture this morning of there being a bus there. Being a bus there, just going around the corner. Now, you can see the sign, it says bus, obviously, without a, the U lit. Now, whether that means anything... Now, Joe, I, see, I, I think this is to do with the bus that's in the video. That could be a good point, then. Okay, that's now right. carry on. Okay, right, well... Uh, there's not too much to say about this little bit. Obviously, it's a bus. You can see it. Apart from that, there are there is what well, looks to be lava under the floor. Under it looks the like floor. there's a crack in the floor there. The floor. Yeah. Um, um, one thing I will say about the sign that we saw before, um, someone's had time to put a sign up warning people about some nuclear radiation or something. So, so it's obviously, although everything's on fire and there's still ash falling, someone's had time to put a sign up. Exactly. So. I wouldn't say this is directly after the blast. I would say, if that's what we're believed to think, yeah. I would say this is some time afterwards. It could be. Okay. Well, getting on now, we've got this, uh, as we look at the front of the bus, we've actually got the number plate, it's a XP registration plate, 79. XP79. Okay, and this could be um, this fighter jet that was uh, in the Second World War. It only ever had one flight, and it the, was uh, called the XP-79. The Northrop XP-79, I think Yeah, um, and the pilot actually had to stand in a prone position, which would allow him to uh, substand much more greater G-force. Yeah. Uh, it only ever had one flight, like I said, on the 12th of September 1945, which coincidentally is the same year that the war ended. Therefore, this could be the plane that was on the original NAPDA on Toten map. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. And it could also, I'm not saying it is, but it could be something to do with experience points in the game. That's why it's called XP. I'm just throwing it out there. It's no, just it another be. thing. It but I think be. it's mainly to tie in with the aircraft. Um, now, obviously, the door's open at this stage, and no one seems no to be getting so. out. But then the title of the video, or the description from uh, Treyarch was something along the lines of come come along for the ride, join us for the ride. Yeah. So if it's an empty bus, they're basically asking us to get on it. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, now, if, when we look at this big space here, the, the bus station in general, it does say terminal on it. There. Um, now, when, when we look at this bus again, it's now the camera's sliding towards to look in the bus and obviously there's nothing there. And then it goes to the Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 2 preview sign. And the uh, that obviously is the image that we got when, with the pre-order poster with the woman on there who's holding the shotgun. 
Yeah. She's out at the end. It then switches to that. Yeah. yeah. So, still, don't know who she is. We don't. It could be Samantha. It, it, but she seems to be the f- ir- the irony, the poster girl of the zombies campaign. So it could yeah, be yeah, new. Yeah. It could be a new character. It could be. And then. Then, we we, we then go. have this uh, little video this at the end the bit, where we say. get to see the actual zombies. See zombies. Which now, I'm I've waited a year for. I have nearly waited a year for this. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, the, look. The, this guy who we see in the picture right now has obviously been in hospital because he's got a hospital gown on. Yeah, and there's a whole load of them. There is a load of them. So, there must have uh, been some kind of blast which has put them into hospital to begin well, with. Well, I, I think, my, my little theory would be that they've been in hospital because of some kind of outbreak for example yeah and while they've been in there they've changed into zombies that's why they've all come out at the same time or something is now back on earth that's mate that sort of reawoken them yeah i agree with you totally there we can also see a, a pay phone on the right hand side and um, the neon blue from the bus, the bus terminal. That so we, we know before. we are still in the we're bus in the, terminal. We were, we're near there anyway. We've got the hordes of zombies who look... I'm not sure if it's behind them or they are actually on fire, but fire plays a big part in this trailer. Um, and I'd like to uh, point out this bit on uh, one minute, ju- just about one minute, 21 seconds, where we actually see a, a green glow in the bus. Now, I don't know if our, uh, our characters... Uh, are actually on this bus at the moment trying to get away from this terminal and maybe, just maybe, this green glow is the ray gun shooting this, off the, the ray gun. You never know, this could be a cam- the campaign mode for zombies. It could be. and to, to With cutscenes in. It could, this could it be could one of the cutscenes. Or maybe we could drive this vehicle. Or oh, some, that'd be, that would be good. That would be epic. So anyway, moving on to just a couple of seconds later, we can see the zombie on the side of the bus. So uh, we've not seen this before. We've not seen a zombie having this sort of uh, intelligence, I would say. I know it's, it doesn't take too much intelligence to rip a board off the wall, as we've seen before. But this guy's hanging on to the side of a bus, which shows more agility than I think we've seen in most zombies. Oh, that is correct. Uh, and he's ripping off a, a, a board on the side of the bus, which I, I assume players have put there. Yeah. Uh, so that would suggest that you can be on the bus. And the, the interesting thing about this guy, now if we look again, this guy's actually wearing a gown again. So yeah. I, we don't know if it's the same guy. Just so you know, we're on about 123, 124. Seconds in. Uh, and you can see his eyes. Now, his eyes are blue. Now, what I, I remember on the Moon Easter Egg, when you completed it, the eyes of the zombies before you did it used to be like a red, yellow, fiery colour. Now, the blue, and that suggests that Rick Toffin is still in control, because that's what happened when the, when the uh, Sam's and Rick Toffin's spirits switched, the eyes turned blue on the zombies, and his eyes are still blue. Yeah, well, and then, it, then obviously and that's it cuts it, that's it. I think we've covered pretty much everything there. I think so. we have. Uh, obviously, we've done this quickly. In a beach. Well, on, on a beach. On a, on a beach. In a beach. I'm, I'm in a beach. Dot here. I need to go and cool off. But... Obviously. really interested to hear what you guys think about this if there's anything you want us to cover more or in depth about the video obviously we can do when we get back home later but this is um a great day and looking forward to lots more of this sort of thing and obviously because we've done this on a beach it's taken quite a lot of effort and uh if you wouldn't mind just dropping a like there for us maybe subscribing if you like us in general and uh, obviously leave your thoughts below in the comment section so uh we'll see you later guys thanks for listening